Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. We're going to be taking a look at scrolling to the top of the page using jQuery. And the first thing that we're going to do is use the animate uh, feature of jQuery to you know, force our user to the top of the page. You've probably visited pages before uh, with lots of content on and they will have a link at the bottom of the page content uh, just to say go to top and then that will take you to the top of the page. Now traditionally this was done with um, an A tag and this had a particular name so for example uh, it would be called say top. Uh, let's just go and take a look at our page content. Uh, you can see that I've just got like a load of text on here, uh, a load of just Latin text on here uh, just to stimulate simulate a, uh, a large amount of content on a page uh, and we would then uh, have a link at the bottom uh, for example go to top uh, and this would be let's just put that in paragraph tags so it stays uh, away from the rest of the content uh, and then you would just sort of like reference hash top in this uh, href and that would take you to the top of the page now I personally find there are a few problems with this uh, let's just get rid of this content here that was from a previous tutorial um, when we go to the bottom we can click go to top and that will take us straight to the top of the page where the a tag uh, was uh, you know initiated up here so we've got this just linking up here now the one problem that we've got with this is that we can't animate it and it's a bit sort of like sudden and jerky uh, the other problem that we have is it, you have to be careful where you place this um, because you'll notice that at the moment we've got some white space just up here uh, if we go down to the bottom of the page and click go to top uh, you see it cuts off this white space uh, altogether uh, and as well you have the problem where you know you might want to you have to might place this a uh, in a particular area on your page uh, where you want the content to go to uh, the other problem we've got is the URL now shows hash top so it looks slightly messy uh, in that sense with regards to the URL so if you do have a problem with that um, as I've experienced uh, we can go ahead and use jQuery to uh, you know do exactly the same thing uh, but you know a lot more effectively and we can add animation as well so uh, let's just go ahead and get rid of this tag up here this a tag and we're going to keep this go to top link uh, but this time we're going to set the href to hash we're not going to actually uh, allow this link to go anywhere uh, now this will still put a hash on the URL uh, but we won't have this hash top present uh, let's just go ahead and test that out so go to top at the moment just uh, gives us a hash there uh, but we uh, you know don't really have the ability to you know uh, to control this I mean I think we do but I'm not going to cover it in this tutorial so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this uh, go to top link a class and this is going to be called top and what we can do in jQuery is we can uh, allow when this links clicked to animate the top of the page so we don't need any a tags on here uh, and you can also use this function to actually uh, you know perhaps supply a um, you know although not rec not really you know advisable uh, but you can use an on click and for example you could use a top uh, and then specify um, an element in here of your page uh, so th there's a variety of different ways we can do this and with jQuery uh, it makes it extremely easy as well so we've got this go to top link here and the class is called top so we're going to use jQuery to reference this link now I've included uh, ext.js on my page as well as jQuery obviously we need to make use of jQuery and ext.js is where we're going to be writing all of our jQuery code and there isn't really a lot of code to write um, but we're going to look at it quite carefully so now that we've done this we can come over to ext.js uh, and we want to go ahead and wait um, for the document to load as we usually would uh, with jQuery so document.ready or not really the document to load this doesn't do this it just you know this initiates uh, as soon as the DOM is uh, available so the first thing we want to go ahead and do is set an event handler to this link uh, so we know when this class top has been pressed and you can use these links anywhere and give them the same class and it'll have exactly the same effect so you could have them say uh, twice on your page one halfway down uh, and one at the bottom so we are using a jQuery selector to select dot top we're selecting a class called top and we want to say dot click so now when uh, our link is clicked uh, we perform a function within here so we outline our function 
and we bring these uh, braces down or brackets down uh, so anything inside of here now uh, will execute when this click uh, when this when this link has been clicked or any other element associated with top is clicked okay so now we want to go ahead and actually animate the top of the page so we are using another selector and this is HTML body so we're selecting HTML and body uh, as the selector so this is what where we want to animate to so we use the animate function in jQuery uh, and we're going to take two parameters here and the first one is the actions or the animations that we want to perform uh, and then the speed afterwards so we'll set this to zero for now so in, inside here the animation that we want to uh, actually carry out is scroll top and the value is going to be zero we want to scroll to the very top of HTML uh, and body so we're scrolling to zero position zero here uh, if we were to change this to say 20 it would scroll you know sort of like 20 uh, in measurement from the very top uh, and obviously zero is the speed so now that we've done this we're actually ready to go we can go ahead and test our link out let's go to the bottom and click go to top and you'll see it takes us all the way to the top of the document including this white space area as well uh, which means we've eliminated the need to even put an a tag in the, in the first place uh, but considering that we had it at the very top of our body it still didn't show the whole document so we've animated to the very top uh, you'll also note that if we do change this value I'll go ahead and ch change that to say 100 uh, let's go and refresh the page and come down to the bottom and click go to top uh, oh and you see that hasn't actually worked okay maybe I'm wrong uh, maybe I'm wrong in that sense but anyway uh, scroll top at zero and we want to go ahead and uh, in fact this might work as plus 20 let me just go ahead and try this no it hasn't okay so you could probably go ahead and look that up I'm probably having a funny moment where I'm unsure what I'm doing but we've got this last um, integer here which we can either set to a uh, millisecond speed or a textual representation of a speed so obviously speeds in jQuery we have jQuery sorry we have slow uh, normal and fast so we can either specify them or we can go ahead and specify uh, an, an amount of milliseconds that we want this time uh, this scroll to happen so from the very bottom when we click it to the top we might want say three seconds which would be 3000 milliseconds so I'm going to go ahead and first of all choose uh, slow uh, and then we'll look at the difference so this will automatically uh, you know create an animation because we've supplied it with a speed so instead of uh, applying it, supplying it with zero we're now applying it with a particular speed so let's go ahead and click go to top and you can see that that scrolled uh, with a nice slow speed up the top of the page uh, we could also then go ahead um, if that might get annoying to your users for example if you had sort of a lot of content and you wanted them to go more or less straight to the top but still maintain some kind of animation uh, you could just go ahead and change it to fast uh, and that you know speeds up to the top but also you know shows the nice scrolling animation as well uh, and as I mentioned we could use uh, uh, a speed such as 10 seconds uh, so for example if you did need this kind of effect I think it's quite effective if you were to have you know say uh, an application that uh, or, or a web page that you wanted to just manually scroll the user down the page to display all the content uh, if it was a more sort of visual site as opposed to you know something being able to be used you could use this but you could use scroll to the bottom instead uh, so you could start say at the top of the page and scroll down to the bottom anyway let's go ahead and click go to top and you can see that this slowly starts to scroll uh, up the page uh, and you can probably tell now that how, how nice it would be if you were to you know enter a user into a website and have them scroll all the way down to the bottom to view all the content uh, and perhaps you could have some kind of mouse move event to stop this at particular points so uh, essentially I've gone on about you know adding to this and creating animation with it uh, so I guess you could call it some kind of animating tutorial uh, but for now we've selected the HTML body we've animated by scrolling to the top uh, and here we've supplied 10 seconds uh, and we've done this all with just creating our link and letting jQuery handle this so much better than supplying uh, the a tags ourselves. so that's how we're gonna scroll to the top using a go to top link in jQuery